Today, we are going to create a computer model of a Warren truss bridge using Python and take a look at how it behaves when it is under stress. This behavior will include displacement, tension, or compression stresses in each member that make up the bridge and reaction forces at the support. Now, let's get down to the details. We are going to create a virtual model of this bridge using Python and Anastruct library, which is a finite element library for 2D analysis of frames, beams, and trusses. So, before creating our digital model, we need to install the Anastruct library using the pip command and import the system element class from the library. Then we create an object from the system element class. This object will contain all the methods we need to create the model, set up the boundary condition, and load the model, compute the displacement behavior of the bridge. Now, let us connect the various member at the node to form a warrant truss by defining a triangle using the NumP array, defining the upper and lower gather using the add element grid, and de defining the members with the property of a truss. This ensures that they can only resist axial forces but no shear and bending. The next thing is we are going to set up our boundary conditions at the two different nodes on our bridge. We add pin support using the add support hinge method and the ruler support using the add support roll method. And then comes the exciting part. We will add a load to our digital bridge. Imagine it's like placing a heavy weight on the structure. How will the bridge react? We are about to find out. The next thing is to stress our bridge by adding load to our digital bridge. We are adding 80 kN point load at 4 node of our bridge using the point load method. We can display our created truss bridge using the show structure method. Then we use the soft method which is accessed through our structure object to compute the behavior of the truss. And if you are curious, we will now display the axial force within this truss. That's the force along the bridge member using the show axial force method. Additionally, we will discover the reaction forces at the support using the show reaction force method. And finally, let us visualize the displacement of the entire bridge from its original position using the show displacement method. So that's how a Warren truss bridge behaves under pressure. All thanks to the magic of Python. Remember, it's just like playing with digital Lego blocks, but here we are building bridges instead. Next time you cross a bridge, you will know a little more about the incredible science holding it all together. Don't forget to subscribe and sign up to my email newsletter. Thank you.